At a Canadian fair, second-generation human cannonball Dave Smith performs his first stunt of the day. He's a second-generation human cannonball. That's actually how he came into this world. His mom was like, thunk! I am not a healthy person. I don't need a doctor to tell me this. I've kind of figured it out on my own. I follow McDonald's on Twitter. That's not how he... idea turtles made any sound ever at all. They're saving it for a special occasion, I guess. Ah. Ah. Is it a commercial for Golden Corral? Because I have a face that says all you can eat. That's <laughs> how I landed it. <laughs> I could be fat someday. Look, I mean, I, I have a pretty good beach body right now on average. Compared to the national average, not so bad, not so bad. The boobs don't touch the gut, so hey. It's New Year's Eve, and a woman shops for a new fur coat. She's quickly drawn to a $6,500 mink. Get down there. A mink coat? More like a stink coat. The inflatable bed is right up there with the inflatable lady when it comes to replicating the real experience. <laughs> Both of them, you're naked on the floor, your back hurts. The dog's giving you a look like he knows what's up and what it is. That ruins the whole relationship. He remembers, you think dog, so he remembers that. Simply apply the carbon filter patch directly to your underwear. The patented technology neutralizes foul odors, saving your neighbor's noses and your reputation. Instead of neutralizing it, why not convert it into a nice smell? Did someone bake cinnamon buns? Five minutes into my set, some guy in the back of the room yelled out, Queer! And I just got there. I didn't know what I did. I don't know what was going on. For all I know, that's how gay people in Montana meet each other. <laughs> Dark, they could have had a Marco Polo game going on. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that would be fun for them, right? I swear, I can't go to one Russian dirt road bathing suit party without something weird happening. Hey, ah! oh, oh, oh. I don't have kids. That's fantastic. It's going great. Yeah. You know how late I sleep on the weekends? Me neither. I sleep till I'm done. It's beautiful. I sleep right up until the point that a nurse would have to turn me so I don't develop sores. And then I sit up and I win. I win the sleep contest. Taco that's also a Dorito. It sounds like something you get at your dad's house after the divorce, doesn't it? Like, hey, kids, uh, Taco Dorito surprise! This party boy will attempt to drink an entire bottle of tequila in one sitting. Here's my experience with tequila. Shot one, a little gross. Shot two through four, delicious. Shot five, vomit. Like, I don't want to go to strip clubs ever again. I still go. Um... <laughs> It's not my idea anymore, though, you know? I'm not the instigator, I'm not the stick in the mud, I'm somewhere in the middle, you twist my arm, I will look at titties. But they're depressing, those strip clubs, oh God. I finally figured out the most depressing part of a strip club, it took some research. Uh, it's when you're getting a lap dance from a stripper and she looks at you and she wants to start talking to you, making you feel better about the situation, throwing out compliments. I could tell when she's reaching. I had a stripper say this to me, middle of a lap dance. She looked at me and she was like, hey, you worked out. You'd be in good shape. <laughs> that's not a compliment. That's just what happens when you work out. That's, that's cause and effect. I didn't work out. I'm not in good shape. You didn't get along with your dad. You do this shit for a living. That's how I work. <laughs> Now get back to work. Kiss from a rose isn't gonna play all night. Oh, baby! Ooh. That's a good song.
It's even better when you don't do the actual words. <laughs> 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 